warehouse automation has become a hot area for investors as consumers moved online, supply chain snarled and workers became tougher to find. Case in point, Right Hand Robotics, which offers piece picking technology to fulfill orders, tells Forbes that it has raised $66 million to ramp up its product development and expand globally. The new funding, led by Safar Partners, Thomas H. Lee Partners and SoftBank Vision Fund, brings the total investment in Somerville, Massachusetts, based right hand to $99 million and pushes its valuation to $240 million. We didn't expect the trajectory and growth of the industry, right hand CEO Yaro Tenzer says. When we started, people were like, yeah, that's in the future. The future, however, is here. Piece picking is a $30 billion market worldwide, with automated piece picking representing some $2.5 billion to $3 billion of that, says Thomas H. Lee Managing Director Mike Kochmarek. The private equity firm has a $900 million automation fund, and Kochmarek had been looking at the piece picking market when he first met Tenzer and his team four years ago over pizza and beers. They stayed in touch. Yaro is a very talented entrepreneur, he says. People will run through walls for the guy. Tenzer, 43, was born in what was then the Soviet Union and immigrated to Israel as a child with his parents. After studying mechanical engineering and mechatronics at Ben Gurion University, he got his PhD from Imperial College London where he focused on surgical robotics. Soon he got a call from Harvard, and moved to the United States to do a postdoc at the Harvard Biorobotics Lab. While there, he and fellow robotics researchers Leif Gentoft and Leia Lohner won a challenge by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, for their robotic gripper whose design mimicked the biomechanics of a human hand. In 2015, the trio founded Right Hand Robotics to develop those grippers for warehouse automation, a huge and burgeoning field. Automation was taking off then as robotic arms, cameras and sensors were all getting better and cheaper, the cost of computation and data had also fallen. <laughs>